Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hulli from G. H. Rai Sony Institute of Engineering and Technology. Uh, in this particular video, we will try to understand the single star match. Now here, in this case, the transmission line terminated by improper load is given and this is the load impedance that is 40 plus J100, uh, J200 and uh, here the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is uh, given as uh, 400 ohm and uh, the same is the characteristic impedance of this stuff. The normal routing process is the normalize the value here by dividing the characteristic impedance which is coming to be this and this is required for working on the smith chart. Now how is the case? Now here this transmission line is not properly terminated that's why there will be the reflection and there may be the uh, creation of the standing waves. Now here to match the transmission line we are connecting the short circuited stub something I, I shown here something like this or maybe this stub may be the open circuited stub here something like this. Here it is. It, uh, the stub may be the short circuited or stub may be the open circuited. After connecting this stub, this portion of the transmission line, this portion of the transmission line, this towards the generator, this is perfectly matched. And remaining portion of the transmission line, which is unmatched. That's why this has a lot of importance. That is where we are going to connect the stub. That is nothing but D here or D1 here in this example. That is the location of this stub. And here L stands for the length of this stub. Now how to do? Now here on the transmission line, uh, due to the reflections here, the impedance along the transmission line is always uh, uh, changing. And here we have to search for the point where the load impedance is 1 plus or 1 minus j something j i will call it as b or maybe other value this may be the plus or minus we are looking for this point and when we got this point we can connect this stub having the admittance which is opposite to, to that of this which will cancel out with this imaginary part of the admittance because two are connected in the parallel that's why I am dealing with the admittances rather than dealing with the impedances. This is impedance is shown here, impedance is shown here but in actual example we will deal with the admittances. And here to cancel out this admittance is opposite value should be connected and for that purpose we can calculate the length of the stub. These two things are important in case of the single stub matching that is the location of this stub which is D or distance from the load and other thing is L that is the length of this stub. Now here we will start with this. We have always the two solutions. I will discuss why the two solutions are possible in every case of the uh, in each case uh, in case of the single stub match. Here why it is. Now here we have one R is equal to one circle this circle I started discussion in the first video itself this circle this circle has a lot of importance in case of the single stub matching as well as in case of the double stub matching I will start with it this is circle now here we will plot the normalized load impedance which is here 0.1 plus j 0.5 and then we will take it as center of the smith chart as a center of the circle and then we will draw this circle and this circuit is generally known as a S circle or a VSWR circle that is a, a standing wave ratio circle. Now here in this case on this uh, on this particular circle the value of the load impedance is changing continuously both values is real part as well as is imaginary part something like this here is the load as we are moving towards generator from the load we are moving towards the generator this is the load point if we are moving towards the generator in this particular direction the value of the load impedance is going to change here is it is 0.1 and then here some something like this and we in case of the single stub matching the two points are important here one is this 
and other is this why because on this circle the real part of the impedance z real part of the impedance will become 1 plus or minus j something this point this is plus value and maybe the minus value here now here it has so once two solutions stub may be connected here or stub may be connected here which solution is better that depends on the uh, how far is the location of the stub on the transmission line and how much is the length of the stub i will discuss in this particular uh, uh, both examples in the solution well as well as in the solution number two now here uh, in this particular case if we are moving on the transmission line this uh, we are uh, going for the admittances because uh, as i discussed here uh, this is uh, the load impedance and we are going to connect the stub which is a parallel that's why in place of dealing with the impedances better to deal with the admittances that's why we have converted this impedance to the admittance and we will read out its coordinate it's coming to be something that is 0.38 minus j 1.92 now here we are moving along the transmission line we are moving along the transmission line on this particular part here look at this part here is the load admittance now we are dealing with the admittances here this is the load admittance which is y here and here from this particular admittance point we are traveling towards the load for searching the location of the stub for searching the location of the stub we are traveling in this direction towards the generator means on the smith chart we have to move in the clockwise direction now here if we are starting from this point this point we are coming at this point means here uh, this may be here and if we are looking for the solution to here uh, the stub may be some far away from the load means more major portion or more portion of the transmission line remains unmatched because uh, this one is the first uh, location of the stub and uh, this one will be the second because we are moving in the clockwise direction that's why uh, i guess the solution one is better in this particular case again depends on how much is the length of the stub required for this particular example now here if we are reading its uh, value look at this part is the real part is one and imaginary part is uh, that is uh, plus j uh, 3.65 and to cancel out this value of the admittance this value of the admittance we have to connect the opposite uh, admittance or uh, to be exact susceptance there uh, or uh, at the location of this stuff to cancel out this value i will show here now here if we are calculating this value and here this value is coming to be the location of the stub d which is 0 0.386 0 0.386 how it is now look at here the total value this is the 0.5 lambda this is 0.5 lambda and what i'm doing i'm subtracting this much value only from that 0.5 that's why i'm calculating calculating the uh, that is location of this stub now here the scale starts from here this to this value otherwise i will use a different color here in this case here all the uh, scale starts from here this to this distance is a 0 0.325 lambda and uh, here this distance is 0 0.21 lambda and if i am subtracting this value this value from this that is a 0 0.324 minus 0.21 i will get this value i will get this value and i am subtracting this value from the 0.5 there are the uh, different techniques can be used and here is the calculation of the location of the stub now if we have the location of the stub what do, what, what what should be the next step next step is the calculation of the length of the stub look at here the line admittance at the match the condition is this that is 1 plus j 0.365 and to cancel out this value we have to connect uh, uh, we have to connect the stub susceptance of minus j 3.65 minus j 3.65 
Now here, as I discussed previously also, this is the short circuit end and this is the open circuit end for the impedances and reverse is the case for the admittances. Now for admittances, admittance, this will become the short circuit end and this will become the open circuit end. Now here, we are interested to calculate the length of the stub or short circuited stub. Now this will be the short circuited point and in that case here the stub may be connected something like this here we have calculated uh, here maybe the stub may be connected something like this we have calculated this d that is distance now we are calculating this value we are moving towards the generator from the short circuited end from the short circuited end that's why we have to move in the clockwise direction to calculate this value now how much would be the value the value will be here this minus j 3.65 we need this value i will go somewhere here on this particular scale which is here 0.3 and 0.365 somewhere here we will plot and we will move from this particular short circuited point and this much will be the length of the single stop in this particular example now here 0.65 and this will be the length of the single stop which is 0 0.03 lambda and these are the calculations for the single stub matching by using the Smith chart. Uh, if I will go for other example, that is solution number two, for the same example, the procedure is common. We are drawing, uh, that is, uh, uh, the R is equal to one circle, then we are plotting the impedance and then uh, we are drawing the S circle and then we are converting this impedance to the admittance. This is the admittance. Now, we are calculating or we are looking for the solution number two which is somewhere here solution number two because two solutions are possible here is the real value is one and here is again the real value is one because the, only the two points which lies on the r is equal to one circle if we are looking for this now here this much will be the length of this stub here in this uh, sorry location of this stub and here in this case it is coming to be 0 0.434 lambda which is more than the previous example now look at here if we are looking for the previous solution one, this is ZR, we will get the first matching point will be somewhere here and the second matching point will be here. In the first case, this much portion of the transmission line will be the matched and in the second solution, only this part of the transmission line up to the, uh, up to the source will be matched. This is one drawback. Uh, of the one of the solution uh, maybe depending on the uh, given example we have to select the both values now here if we want to cancel out this value in this particular case the value is uh, 1 minus j 3.65 we have to connect the stub of the plus j 3.65 which is somewhere here that is from the short circuited point which is here and again we have to move in the clockwise direction now here we are moving in this case clockwise direction now here in this case what we have the drawback of the solution number two in both cases or in this case we have both things are the more or major means here as compared to the solution number one we are moving away from the load to locate the stub that is the location of the stub is longer distance that's why more portion of the transmission line remains unmatched and second thing is that in this case here the length of the stub also in the previous case only this much was the length of the stub now here in this case length of the stub is more that's why the solution two is not feasible as far as is uh, the costing of the transmission line or uh, the properties of the transmission lines are concerned that's why theoretically both solutions are the correct you may prefer the solution number one and solution number two that's why while finding its solution in case of the smith chart uh, or in case of the single stop matching we have to look at which one is the feasible solution in this case solution one is the more feasible or more practical than the solution number two in other case a reverse may be the case that's why we have to look at for both solutions before providing actual solution that is uh, this much is the thing related to the uh, that is a uh, uh, single sub matching 
here is the another example here again the things are given only in case of uh, angle we can convert these values to the rectangular form and then we can work out the things are again the same as uh, the previous example that's it from my side regarding or related to the single stop matching thank you